but I have something in my teeth. I do, but it's invisible, so it's good. Hello, if you are one of those people with these kind of issues, take a look, then you are at the right place at the right time. And I want to teach you how to start using Derma Roller to get incredible results. This video is for the beginners. If you have heard about Derma Roller and you want to start, or you're just curious, or if you're scared, if you don't know where to start and what to do to get incredible results, and you want to achieve natural results without toxic ingredients, without Botox and fillers, without having changed much in your life and spent too much money this video is right for you so who are the great candidates for microneedling aka derma roller I'm gonna be teaching how to use derma roller for the beginners but before that I want to tell you if you are aging if you are over 35 years old if you do have acne scars if you do have maybe hyperpigmentation stretch marks hair loss and even skin tone texture under eye bags crow's feet open black pores oil skin dark circles loss of volume in your face then this video is right for you you are at the right place I start microneedling my face it is preparation it is very 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 important to prepare now you're gonna say who the hell are you Jen I am esthetician licensed esthetician I've been esthetician for the last 14 years I do have my own skincare line that is toxic free certified and organic and been dedicated to be used after microneedling but here's the thing if you're on the budget you don't need to use any of this nothing you just need one dermarole and that's it that's it you don't have to spend too much money it is totally okay do not use nothing after microneedling and I have had hundreds and hundreds of clients with before and after sending me messages literally every single day that I changed their life here's a few screenshots that I changed their life that they are so happy right now their skin is clear their skin is clean they're looking younger more youthful they have more energy they husband boyfriend or wife or whoever lives with them is around them they notice the difference in their skin and in their behavior so microneedling skincare is not only how you look it's also how you feel my goal today to you guys to make sure that you feel good that's the most important feeling that we want to have in our lives is feeling great what is microneedling microneedling that I consider derma roller and now you're gonna maybe ask question what's the difference microneedling derma roller rolling aqua pen derma pen stamp derma rollers they are the same thing but this one will give you the fastest result now not every derma roller on the market is equal and it's not the same this is trademarked derma roller with the real individual needles that's mean I was the founder that figure out how to create derma roller with the real individual needles the rest of the derma rollers on the market don't have needles they can leave scars they can leave marks they can maybe damage the skin I have have had a couple of clients come to me and ask what to do after they've been using fake derma roller here is a hard truth to swallow not every dermatologist or esthetician know the difference in that they don't have proper training there is no such a training in esthetician school how to uh, learn how to properly use microneedling tools so be very very careful when you go somewhere spend hundreds of thousands of dollars because on average microneedling session can cost from three four five even seven hundred dollars thirty five bucks you decide derma rollers this is 0.25 derma roller for the beginners a wheel type of roller you roll on the skin you produce micro 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 punctures and that makes your skin a little bit a little bit stressed your body your immune system sends like emergency cells to repair your skin tissue in this moment you rejuvenate your body produces your skin produces collagen and elastin and that makes you heal and glow let's start with the disinfection step number one you want to disinfect this is 0.25 and i have liquid oxygen right now this is way more safer for our skin than alcohol i pump few pumps over here i'm gonna wait until it's gonna settle now if you're living outside of united states we do ship to absolutely maybe we don't ship to three or four countries but get this 
this is cheap, gonna last forever. I will stay away from the alcohol. It's not good for the plastic, it's not good for the skin. So now I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna keep talking about Dermarola, but this one is gonna sit and the foam gonna go down. This foam has oxygen, liquid oxygen that disinfect bacteria, viruses, any possible fungi and stuff like this over here. So now what size to start using Dermarola? For the beginners, you always wanna start with a smaller size because that makes sense. Doesn't matter what issue you have, you wanna start with zero. 0.25. When you start with 0.25, you slowly build up this kind of strength. I have had so many people, so many people come, Jen, I started with one millimeter, my skin is very sensitive right now, I'm peeling, it's burning, I don't know what to do, it's been three days. I'm like, is this the size you started? And the person will say yes. So be smart, slowly is the way to do microneedling. Smart, we'll repeat again. Slowly is the way to do microneedling. Smart. This is the table. How often, what size, for what skin concerns to use it. Screenshot it. It's also on my website. It's also on my Instagram and all social media. You have to know what size for what skin concerns to use it. But remember, if you're a beginner, this is for those newbies here, right? This is for you, girl. If you're new, start with the 0.25, the smallest size Dermarole, unless it's a body deep old stretch marks, all right? How often do you want to increase microneedling size? So you start with 0.25, now you're thinking, okay, you've been doing for quite some time, three, four months, like Jin, when can I increase the Marola size? Next size after 0.25, it is 0.5. And you wanna do that not sooner than three, four months. And then after three, four months, you can jump to 75. Then after three months, you can jump to one. So literally you need at least minimum one year to go from 0.25 to one, which is four sizes that I have you can use on your face to get extraordinary results. Now, how often to use it? 0.25, you use once or twice a week when you're beginner. 0.5, you use once a week. 0.75, you use once every three weeks. And one millimeter, you use once a month. So preparation with oxygen is the most important part. You want to make sure you disinfect your tool and you disinfect your skin because you do not want to get any, any, any irritation, any fungus, bacteria, viruses that can end up pretty bad. This is serious thing, girl. This is very, very serious. And this is a very, very important step to do it. So what I do after I wash my face, washing your face, it is very, very important step. And double cleansing is the way we want to do it. So I'm starting to wash my skin with True Botanicals cleanser, a little bit overpriced, but it's really, really great nourishing cleanser. You can have your own cleanser. The more natural cleanser you have, the better. I'm gonna use this one as my first cleanser. I don't think I have to teach you how to wash your skin. I'm gonna wash this, gonna rinse it, and I'm gonna show you guys in a second what I'm gonna be using as a second cleanser. Next cleanser, by the way, of course you're using different cloth for your face as you use for the rest of your body. I know you're smart or you will be smart from now on and you use different little tiny towel for your face. Next cleanser that I'm using, it is Genomber Beauty HA BHA. Glycolic acid tightens your skin. Salicylic acid is great to remove that oily residue on your skin, especially on your nose. We're gonna be dermarolling the nose as well. So I'm taking a little bit of that, not too much. This is very concentrated. A little bit on the forehead. I don't know what the heck is this a red dot over here but i've been having that for a week right now i know in chinese face map system there is something that is over here i think it's a heart and it might be because i just went through a breakup my heart is kind of broken but that's okay i'm getting better guys i'm getting better it's been two months right now after breakup and i'm at the much better place in life anyway so massage it gently circular motions i'm not gonna be doing neck because for the neck I have a separate video I'm gonna put over here somewhere, so click on that link and you will be guided to the next video where I have done separate video and I will come back to you with the clean face skin and then I'm gonna start using Derma Roller. Now, how to use Derma Roller? It is very important. I think everything is very, very important. I don't know what the heck is that. I'm pretty sure after this is gonna be kind of halfway
we go on over there. All right, so it is most important that you will use real needle derma roller. What's the difference? If you wanna go into detail, I'm gonna put somewhere here in the corner the link, the real and the fake, the difference. Go there, check it out. The system, then not the system, blah, 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 blah. The technique. Technique is always roll, lift, roll. So what you don't wanna do, I mean, it's not gonna kill you, it's okay, but more effective is roll, lift, roll, lift. Okay, when you're a beginner, you wanna go no more than five times over the same line that you use it. And then above line, five times, one, two, three, four, five. So this is what you do if you're a beginner. So horizontal, now vertical, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And looks like I'm rolling back and forth, but no, I'm lifting. If slow motion. Two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four, five. And now diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And now diagonal another way. One, two, three, four, five. 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 That shouldn't take more than one or two minutes so one two minutes here one two minutes here one two minutes here and all together this zone around the mouth chin and nose also like around two minutes the same system for the rest of the face right so i start the same way doing horizontal here one two three four five 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 now if you're gonna ask me if it's hurting this size absolutely not you do not need numbing cream for zero 0.25 you don't you definitely don't what age can you start doing dermarola doesn't matter i have right now six years old girl that she has a scar on her face she's using dermarola and i do have probably 90 years old clients that they're using this for their skin for aging reasons so horizontally vertically diagonally five one two three four five you want to close your eyes just in case two three four five one two three four five and then diagonal one two three four five now you're gonna be asking what about eye zone eye zone you also can derma roll i have separate video gonna put somewhere over here link and also gonna have in the description box the most important link about microneedling for the beginners is gonna be down below in the description box and also i will pin in the comments down below as well what you should feel while derma rolling you should feel Feel a little bit it's kind of like a bee sting like a sand sort of you know like if you will fall on your sand on your cheek this is how you will feel it's not like pleasurable moment and feeling but it will be like it's okay I don't mind and now I will do the same one and I will speed up with this part of face I don't know why I want to close my eyes when I derma roll it's kind of like hmm Feel so good, I'm getting beautiful, I am so beautiful, my skin is so glowy, I am so pretty and so beautiful, my skin is rejuvenating right now, and I am so glowy. <laughs> So when you're a beginner, it's easier to remember to do five times over, but also another technique you can do like roll one time across the cheek, two times, do up to five times right now and this in different direction. I'm gonna give extra love for my eye zone. You don't wanna roll and turn. You're gonna cause a little bit more damage. You wanna do a little bit here, 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 a little bit here. On the brow as well. Your eye zone is all around the eye and even here and even on the nose. So let's do the same here. Close your eyes for God's sake. You never know. And now chin time, a little bit uncomfortable around your mouth. Watch it. You also can derma roll your lips. I have a video how to derma roll your lips, either down below in the description box or somewhere here up there. And also extra love 
for my nose. It's great for the black heads, white heads, open pore, and gonna actually regulate your oil production. This is amazing. You can just, if you're an oily girl, your nose is oily, Dermarol, you know, there's no technique for the nose dermarolling. I'm not sure if I should develop, but it's just rolling all kind of direction. It's gonna stimulate collagen and elastin production and regulate the oil production in the follicles. So it's gonna be a good thing to have it. Okay, an extra love because I have those. Extra love on those lines. I'm actually smiling so I can see where to dermarol. Let me take mirror. Love, love, love over there. Love, love, love over there. By the way, serum screen now okay you can actually apply a serum cream before or after it does not matter it's your just personal preference I'm gonna apply after because this is my personal preference now if you're on the budget don't use nothing like this it's fine just don't go outside now if you do have a little bit some money I use rose water rose water actually it's not just because it's rose water it has the highest frequency I love my spiritual world I love high frequencies. I also have here quantum necklace. Looks like this with, I'm gonna actually give a little bit more rose. So I'm just spraying on my face, on my hair. I wanna be in high energy, but also it's a hydrating. It's really, really great. I love it. Now, after that, I use two serums. I use vitamin C and I use hyaluronic. Hyaluronic is going to plump my skin and hydrate, and vitamin C is great antioxidant and heals the skin after microneedling. So it helps to kind of like shrink and heal and repair the damage that I just did, micro damage after that. And I'm using them together. This is organic and toxic free, Genome Beauty, few pumps, two pumps of this, and one pump of vitamin C like this in my palms make sure your hands are clean all right you did double cleanse your hands before that right and you don't want to rub after micro needling it's not fun you wanna tap 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 also is good for your hands mm. all right and now for the face, it's my favorite part because this is the best vitamin C cream on the market. By the way, about vitamin C, talking about vitamin C, I have here vitamin C plus choline repair cream. Why this is better than others? Most of the vitamin C creams on the market contain L-ascorbic acid. Here's the thing what you need to know about L-ascorbic acid. L-ascorbic acid, it is irritating the hell out of your sensitive skin. If you do have a sensitive skin and around 80% of you have sensitive or sensitive skin you do not want to use L-ascorbic acid it burns it irritates and highly unstable this is sodium ascorbyl phosphate it is stable it's very bioavailable that means absorbs in your skin beautifully beautifully you want to use this after microneedling this beautiful beautiful do I have something in my teeth I do but it's invisible so it's good so what I do two or three pumps of this and the same thing, choo, 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 like that, and pop, 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 pop. Gentle, don't wanna rub, don't wanna cause too much damage because we already did damage. This damage actually is going to help to repair our skin and you will see how you freaking girl gonna look beautiful after. Take pictures before and after and you will see the difference even the next day. Here's the thing, people ask me, should I bleed? No. If you're bleeding, you're not using right derma roller, you're using too much pressure and using for way too long than you should. One minute on each face area is enough. Now, how do I feel? I feel freaking awesome. Aftercare. If you need more hydration, use hydration product, whatever you need. If you have extremely, extremely dry skin, get something hydrating, super, super strong hydration. If after microneedling, you have extremely dry skin, use this. This is La Roche, La Roche Posay, La Roche Posay, Lipicar AP Plus Balm Intense Repair Moisturizing Cream for Eczema. This is gonna hydrate your skin like crazy, like crazy. Hydration, you will need hydration because you lose moisture when you have microneedling done because some moisture that is in your skin it evaporates. That's totally normal. Don't freak out. You might gonna experience itchiness, dryness, redness, burning sensation. That is okay up to 24 hours. Dryness might gonna stay up to 72 hours. Now it's crucial rule to know after microneedling, do not go in the sun or the swimming pool or to the beach. 
Promise me now, Jin, I swear, I promise to you, when I do micro needling, I'm not gonna go to the beach for the 72 hours. Give me your pinky right now. Give me your pinky, you promise me. I'm watching you right now, give me your pinky promise and say, Jin, I'm not gonna go to the beach for the next 72 hours after I did micro needling, okay? Okay, we got this, this is just, you and I, okay? This relationship, you and I. You want to also avoid any, any, any exfoliating acids, any, any scrubs, any tools that will touch your skin. If you have a red light stands like this in the front of you, it's okay. The red light that you have to touch and massage your skin, no. No gua sha, nothing that touches your skin also for 72 hours. No microdermabrasion, no lip waxing, nothing like hydrotherapy, I believe, or whatever the name is. Don't do nothing that touches your skin constantly for the next 72 hours. For the next 22 hours, I will also avoid sauna and gym because you will sweat. And when you have microneedling done, when you sweat after that, your skin is just gonna burn. You're gonna feel burning sensation. It's nothing gonna happen to your skin. You're not gonna damage your skin. It's okay but i have done this once i did micro needling at night next morning i went to the gym i sweat i was like oh my god what's happening to my skin ah! it burns girl it burns i swear it burns and you don't want that sunscreen 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 after i do have on my store toxic free certified sunscreen you can use a sunscreen next morning and do micro needling only at night like one hour before bed not right away going into the bed because you're gonna rub all the beauty in your pillowcase overall skin care tip do not use your skincare routine right away before bed give it one or two hours so let your skin absorb it let your skin absorb it if i miss something i'm gonna add in the description box guys please subscribe to my youtube channel you will help me a lot and i want more people to know how to correctly use their roller please share this video with your friends and family i love you so much sending a lot of kisses to your house and please ask me questions down in the comment section i'm gonna be happy to answer all those questions bye bye love you